After watching the recent needle drop video, it got me thinking about whether or not the internet is actually detrimental to the modern musical community. And I honestly don't think it is. No, I mean, I've given this some thought, and whenever you consider what MySpace, or Facebook, or Last.fm even, or um, Wikipedia have done for unknown artists, it's made them known. Now, yes, there is more competition now than there ever has been, and there's a lot more mediocre music now than there ever has been, but because of the internet, it's easier for small music scenes to localize a lot better and actually get more members. Places like Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I live now, the death metal scene was always there, but now it's a little bit stronger because there's more young people involved, and it's easier for them to market themselves, or easier for the bands to market themselves, and to have street teams and all this, because... You can just do it from your computer. It's really cool, and it's it, it's really useful when you get down to it. Now, in terms of actually having a, a national band or artist that is nationally or even internationally recognized, it's harder to do that because there's fewer of those than there are of local groups, local musicians. So I think that in terms of regionalizing and localizing music uh, scenes, or entire um, just just entire groups of uh, artists within a certain community, it's done wonders for it, and I honestly think that's where music is going. I mean, you're you're going you're seeing the downfall of the musical money machine. You know, the big business, the the musical industry is failing. They are relying more now on hit singles than hit albums, and this is because it's easier to rip music now, and so. Get that catchy beat. Oh, it's only 99 cents on iTunes. Bam. That's how they're making their money now. You know? And the albums you are seeing that are very successful, like Taylor Swift's debut album, which was number one for, what, 11 weeks? It's mediocre music. I honestly think that the music industry as a whole, the big major labels, they're the ones that are seeing it seeing this massive wave of competition of musicians and the internet itself, it's seen to the downfall of their industry. But to creativity and the art form as a whole, no, it's doing wonders for it. Yes, I do concede that there is more shit now than 10 years ago. But think about it, you're having an entire generation, two generations actually, my generation and the generation after mine, you're having them raised on the internet raised using the internet. So it'll be easier for musicians to navigate the internet and it'll be easier for them to localize as I've, as I've said. Basically my conclusion that I came to is that music will never die. Um, the art form will never die. It'll never go sour. But the ways in which you will actually do something with this art form or uh, the, what you'll actually do with the art form to accomplish your goals or to uh, push the musical boundaries That'll always change. The, the vehicle will always change. The vessel for that will always change. It always has. But just because it's something that we're not used to doesn't necessarily mean that music as a whole will die or that it'll become stale. Music always becomes stale and then something happens to it to breathe new life into it. So, I, should, I guess just ride the wave. See where this cycle takes us. This is, I mean, it's a very interesting ride. Music has never had to go through such a change like this before so sudden and so drastic and so huge so I'm very intrigued to see where it'll go I think it'll go somewhere really great you know I mean just the fact that um, local scenes themselves are being able to fund themselves and just that alone makes it exciting and you know as a musician myself I am excited to see where this will take me and uh, on that note I think I'll be gone um, I'm the Axel Snacks. If you like, like. If you don't, don't. See you later.